What does it mean to be human? To be ruled by physics, embodied as chemistry, described using math, communicated with language, molded from history, expressed through art. Ideas are intelligent hallucinations plaguing us with competition and obsessions over comparison. I sense reality, feel stories, think paragraphs, speak sentences, yet only understood through sight and sound. Eyes perceive change in light. Ears perceive change in air. Minds perceive change measured in time. Change the world, it changes us. What is a person to do if they imagined everything? They live and then die. Morals instead of desires. Curiosity is no more. Death offers itself with only life to explore. Some would choose future over finale. Some the opposite. Fantasy deemed as reality we are bound to rules by this game. My mind, like yours, is trapped in this body, which is trapped on this planet, trapped in space, trapped in this universe, within dimensions, within existence. Cantor described infinity within infinity. Grandiosity of this magnitude is beyond astronomical incandescence. Minds without gravity fall into skies, becoming space. Is that it? And here, I thought knowledge gives meaning to one's purpose, if they have one. When I was 19, I didn't sleep for two weeks and had a seizure, fell down and hit my head and that is two decapitations right in a row and my head came clean off twice and cracked like a frozen lake and all my childhood memories fell through the ice and drowned in a water so cold and deep. It grabs you by the spine and shakes the language off of you like autumn leaves. I have a memory disorder now. Prosopagnosia. Facial blindness. Faces don't get stored in my memory and so everyone is a stranger. And for a long time, I didn't know what deep, dark lake this loneliness crawled out of. Sometimes, I'll be writing in my notebook and look up and see someone staring at me, like I was the one staring at them. And then they'll copy my movements and I'll realize that I'm looking in a mirror and the stranger is me. This is the alone disease. It is impossible to recognize the people who have loved me or who I have loved. I can only see someone by looking at them so when they are gone, they're gone, gone. And it's just me, who I also don't remember or recognize. And the cracks grow wider and they grow deeper and they grow arms and legs and fingers and claws and a hunger for something they cannot swallow. I've learned to recognize people by their voices. I can hear a laugh in a crowd and know that you are there. 
I can play a song in my head and hear your voice singing it. Remembering your face is like catching the wind, but I can hear your voice being carried by it. And that hurts. Far worse than any flavor of forgetting. Loss is just loneliness with a master's degree. This shattered ice memory is only skilled in remembering all the ways I have been hurt. I am writing in my notebook, and I look up, and someone is staring at me. I think they know me. It isn't a mirror this time. This person could be anyone. It could be you. The wind blows, and I try to catch it. Όταν στη θάλασσα μου κολυμπώ Κορμί κουρασμένο Ταλαιπωρημένο Απ' το πέρασμα του χρόνου σημαδεμένο Χαϊδεύει ξανά Η πρώτη του αίσθηση Η πρώτη του υγρή αγκαλιά Σπόρος ζωής, ευτυχισμένο έμβριο, μέσα στο κόλπο της ζεστασιά. Στη θάλασσά μου κολυμπώ. Ο ήλιος, το φως, ο αέρας, ο ουρανός. Πλούτη δικά μου, μέσα στην καρδιά. Τη μυρωδάτη αναπνοή της, άπλιστα ρουφό. Μέσα στο χρώμα, μέσα στη χαρά, ανάλαφρα στο χρόνο πίσω γυρνώ, γίνομαι νιά. Όταν στα χάδια της παραδίδομαι χωρίς να μυθώ, λύπες, αγωνίες, καημούς, αμέσως ξεχνώ. Στην απερατοσύνη της, να παραδοθώ ποθώ. Κρατώντας λίγο από το χρώμα, το χρώμα αυτό το γαλανό. I have a bad habit of using random facts as a coping mechanism. See, when the world doesn't make any sense, I lean on them to find some sort of understanding. Like, did you know that the sky is blue because of this thing called Rayleigh scattering? Fact. Did you know that dogs can see color just not in the same way that people do? Fact. Did you know that women can actually see more shades of red than men can? Fact. Did you know that the first time I saw you, I was 17 in desperate need of a lineup and a shave, and I guess some things never change. The first time that I saw you, it felt like for my entire life I'd only ever seen black and white, and this was the first time that my eyes had known color. The first time that I saw you, it felt like this. This is the closest humanity will ever get to perfection. Fact. 
The first time we spoke, I went home and replayed our conversation in my mind until the sound of your speech was tattooed on my eardrum. If your voice was a song, I played on repeat until yours was the first name on my lips in the morning and the last one on my ears at night. And I know that statement doesn't quite make sense now, but it did then because maybe you uh, didn't make sense. And maybe you weren't meant to. Maybe there are things about you that I still don't quite understand, like how catching your smile from across the dining hall can make my heart stop beating just long enough for me to enjoy living again, like how you can make a Tuesday feel like not a Tuesday, even when today was definitely a Tuesday. You were a beautiful misunderstanding, wrapped up in a smile wide into the distance from Seattle to Boston. So when you left, I guess you did it the only way you knew how. Without mourning, leaving everyone around you trying to figure out what just happened, did you know that the human body is about 70% water fact when they fished you out of the river? Your lungs were filled with more water than your body could handle. You died the way you were never meant to, alone, reaching out to the last pieces of your life as they floated away from you. The dead will never walk again, fact, you will never walk again, fact, the day of your memorial. I ran to a soundproof room, screamed, my voice raw, found a piano and played the saddest song I know. But piano keys feel a little bit too much like bones and it hurts to have death so close to my fingertips So instead, I ran until my lungs burned because something about you dying makes me feel like I'm drowning too. And I've always been good at locking away the broken pieces of myself for long enough to heal But I'm struggling to find a place to hold everything that you once were It has been four years, one month, and twelve days since you died And I still play your song every night before I go to sleep But now, now I'm beginning to forget the sound of your voice And I never knew not knowing something would hurt so much. After you died, your best friend said that every day feels like a Tuesday, which is to say the skies are always a little bit gray. Laughter feels like the faded echoes from before the sun finally got tired of shining. And I'm struggling to remember what it feels like to see in color. My grandma taught me how to peel apples and potatoes, anything really that necessitates the movement of a knife toward the body. So didn't she teach me love, how to be careful with sharp instruments making their way back home to you? Bleeding was a lesson I would learn later on my own. And the body does not soon forget. And this body has not yet forgotten. I like to think that if we met in another life, then I'm not simply finding my way back to you. And how could one ever call the elapsed time waste? There's no wonder, love. There's this wonderlust. I am simply peeling my way back to you. One apple at a time. One atom at a time. Something tells me we might have been the Big Bang, bursting at the seams of a childless night sky. Imagine the tension, the tips of our fingers untouched, a galaxy gullible enough to shatter itself like glass, to say, look at what I have become for you. And then, light, a measurable and unyielding light. I screamed, I can't see you, lying if I need to understand my suffering, look the other way. Never been there for me, cherish or adore me, crucify me, no plea. But he said no. What should the world burn for? 
if not for all of the broken necks of black folk. The cops who murdered Breonna Taylor are asleep at home with their families. The cops who murdered Breonna Taylor are at home with their families. The cops who murdered Breonna Taylor are with their families. The cops who murdered Breonna Taylor are asleep. The cops who murdered Breonna Taylor are at home. The cops murdered Breonna Taylor at home. Cops murdered Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor was murdered. How should the earth turn quiet if not by God's judgment or a black mother's rage? Righteousness has its place, but all the rooms here are occupied. Obviously, a white mother ain't ever had to snatch her son down from a tree, turn his neck the right way, and hold his no breath stepping over these lips mouth up against her breast, scream until her voice rattles, until she can't tell you all she ever wanted to be was a mother. What is all this death about? And why won't the angels blow the trumpets for Christ to come? A dying man cried out for his dead mother. Christ, if you won't come, at least send her with wings and a bulletproof chest. How even in their blues they can't treat our sadness. How even in their blues they pretend our grief is but a plaything. Burn this world down. If we can't walk this earth without our necks binding the sturdy part of the tree, burn this world down. If our skin be too much night, we be people that know water, know about the Atlantic and baptisms. We know how to walk on it and how to drown perfectly. But God, if we can't have breath, we ask for fire, fire this time. Fire, Lord, this one last time.